Chris Paul is historically better than Wardell Stephen Curry. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, I said it. Yes, yes, came yes, out yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Coming in hot. <laughs> I've been holding this for a while now, America. Okay? No countdown or nothing. <laughs> no, 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 we don't need all that. We don't need all that. I've been holding this for a while, America. Ooh-wee. Okay? But it's time to say it. Somebody got to say it. And no, 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 no. This is not no shock jock, the jock type of stuff. There's right. not none of that. It's no not click no bait, yeah. oh, oh, clickbait, hot take. This is a real one, <laughs> a real hooper, a real hoop fan, a real former coach, a real student of the game. In the NBA 75th season, I'm telling y'all, somebody got to tell the truth about the history of the game. Chris Paul is historically better than Steph Curry. Now, I know what y'all going to do. You're going to throw at me this three-point record. That's what you're going to do. You're going to throw that at me. I know what you're going to do. You're going to throw Steph's two MVPs at me. You're going to throw Steph's three championships at me. That's what you're going to do. But watch my retort. If you're going to throw that at me, Stay right there for my retort, okay? <laughs> when it comes to the three-point, I can't argue that. Still is the greatest shooter of all time. No question. Not because he got the three-point record. Yeah. Not because of that, okay? Because he gets an opportunity to shoot way more threes than anybody, any of the, uh, the guys there. who we hold up there, Ray Allen and Ray, Reggie Miller and all these guys. Facts. It's the way he shoots his threes that I give him credit because he can shoot just as good off the dribble from three than than the Steve Kerr's of the world can shoot spot shooting, okay? Mm -hmm. So I give you that. But if you're going to go here with this MVP stuff, okay, Steve Nash got two MVPs. True. Y'all finna tell me Steve Nash better than Chris Paul. That's what I'm going to try to tell you. Hmm? He got three ships. Steph got that. Okay? I told y'all that first ship, he would not have won that ship if Kyrie Irving did not get hurt. LeBron Raymond James Sr. was out there with me, Ray Caesar Leo, <laughs> Tim G. Jacob, and JoJo. Who? That's who he is. In the game, it went to game six. Yeah, oof. Yeah. Remember, Kevin Love had got hurt by uh Kelly Olenek. Yeah. I yeah, think yeah. like pulled his arm Just out okay of the shoulder. Yep. Okay, that was before the finals. And then Kyrie being Kyrie, you know, gets hurt mm-hmm. in, in game one. Okay. But that's part of the game. Steph got that ship. Choked the next year against Bron Bron now. Okay, choke 73 and 9, but then choke should have lost to uh the Thunder, but KD and them choked. Okay, then Kevin Durant came to his team, better player, and KD he became the second best player on his own team. So, two of his three ships, he was not even the best player on his own team. Not wrong, you cannot point. To a time that uh, uh, Chris Paul has had a player like Kevin Durant, other than with James Harden. That's it. That's it. And now, uh, here's the other thing you're going to throw at me. I know what you're going to throw at me. Okay. Because, <laughs> see, what I could throw at you is CP3 and James Harden and them should have beat the Warriors that year. But who cost them? CP3 getting hurt. So you can throw out that CP3 tends to get hurt as well. Don't Steph tend to get hurt? Then we just see Draymond out there swinging for his life by himself because Clay will hurt, Steph will hurt, everybody will hurt. Then we see Steph early in his career calls Mark Jackson his job. Everybody want to blame it on Mark Jackson's religious beliefs and everything like that. That's not only it. Steph, Steph's ankles. If Steph was healthy and they were winning even more, Mark wouldn't have lost his job. They wouldn't have cared about religious beliefs. No, they would not. Okay, they wouldn't have cared about it. 
about that. So Steph has an injury history as well, just like CP3. But you know what? Steph ain't got that CP3 got. What's that? Defense. Defense. And that's why I'm saying this. I am sick and tired in every sport, every sport, they are devaluing defense. It stops today. It stops <laughs> today. We got to stop. This man, Chris Paul, last time I checked, last time I checked, okay, was leading the league right now in assists and steals. That's correct. Okay? This man is a uh, – Steph has led the league in steals before. Yeah. Chris Paul done, done that six times. Okay? Uh, Steph has led the league in scoring twice. CP3 then led the league in assists four times. Chris Paul has nine all defensive teams on his resume. How many Steph got? Steph got zero. Zero. And Steph Curry is six feet three. And Chris Paul is six feet tall. Yeah. Then that's what those of y'all are going to try to tell me. Oh, man, Steph small. Well, how you expect him to go? Chris Paul is six feet. He's my height. Been God monsters for, for, for but he gonna literally go. 16 years. He going to go. I'm talking about he going to get you steals. He going to play on ball. He going to do all that. Chris Paul has been the leader of his team wherever he's been. As we alluded to last week, Draymond Green leader that team. Draymond Green, the one that's going to check everybody on that team. Chris Paul is the one who checks folks on his team. Chris Paul is the reason why Devin Booker out here trying to stick some D now. Chris Paul is the reason why uh, uh, um, the center, Aiden, yeah. ha ha has progressed. I'm I'm quoting these guys. This is what these guys said during their finals run last year. Now, somebody going to throw this at me. If you're a real put it on some fan, a real one that's down with put it on some, you're going to say, well, first, didn't you tell us that they were Fugazi that last year uh, 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 AD wasn't hurt, that them boy wasn't made out of the first round? Yes, I said that. Yes, I did. But them boys that made believers out of me this year. <laughs> Man, man, I <laughs> they boys that came out here hoping this year. They're playing defense, they're getting guys involved, and this man is the leader. He's averaging a double double man, and playing me. great defense. What do y'all want? What do you want? Quit devaluing defense. That's the beauty of basketball. Beauty. Unlike Football, where everybody, Tom Brady, oh. When Tom Brady's defense was out there, Tom Brady over there, just like me and you, just like. Chill. Basketball is a, the objective of the game is to get a bucket and stop a bucket. Chris Paul facilitates his offense. He can get a bucket himself. He can get you a bucket. And he can stop you from getting a bucket. Still can get a bucket. He can facilitate a bucket. Not as good as Chris Paul facilitates a bucket. And he can't stop you. Especially not in the playoffs. When they start targeting him. Where's Steph at? Go watch some of them series between uh, Bron Bron and, and the Warriors. Bron looking for Steph. <laughs> where, where, wherever Steph is, that's who Bron Bron calling for the pick. When Kyrie hit that game winner, yeah, Bron say he told the coach to go to Kyrie. Why? Cause Steph Curry was holding him. Yeah, don't play with me. Don't play. If you're gonna play with me, be ready. I will send you the link. Chris Paul is better historically. Than Steph Curry. Now, I know my brother's gonna disagree with me, but he's gonna do it out of love. Yeah, yeah. If y'all wanna play with me, <laughs> y'all better be ready for a link. Brother, what you got? Look, I, um, 
for anybody who knows me like like my brother does and anybody who who knows me i'm a i'm a basketball purist at heart so i like seeing the game played uh the right way most efficiently and i love basketball iq one of my favorite players uh since he's been in the game is chris paul and and it's quite simple when you watch chris play no matter where he goes his team gets better now the knock on chris will always be when he hadn't won the big one um that's a team thing lebron mike katie steph you whoever it is you want to kobe Shaq. you got to have pieces around you to get that thing done um chris paul has come up short that's a fact but when it comes to basketball iq and making his team better there's nobody besides maybe lebron that has done it better. Going to a team and his team gets better. Maybe not making his teammates better, but I'm talking about just a record, the trajectory of the team. Chris Paul has done that better than anybody. Everywhere he's gone, because you heard well say it. When he goes, that team takes on his mentality. You have to answer to Chris. It's not so much the coach. You have to answer to Chris. OKC. I forgot about what yeah. he did at OKC. That OKC. One year. You have to answer to Chris. Um so that's why he's just simply one of my favorite players to ever do it. I mean, it's probably just still to this day one of my favorite players in the league today. I feel a butt coming. I don't like it. Here, but but here's the only but. Here's the only but. I've had I've had to change my my look into what gets it done in the NBA. Mm -hmm. I can't change this, um, but I'm really just kind of playing devil's advocate. Okay. Until the NBA changes the way they call the game, mm -hmm. Steph Curry is always going to be better and historically better as we move forward than CP3. CP3 has had an amazing career in spite of, in spite of the game becoming tougher for him to be great at what he's great at, playing tenacious defense, being hella smart and making sure the play goes to the right person, making sure they get the most efficient bucket. They are making the game easier for guys like Steph. Because Steph game sells tickets, it, sell, it sells ads, it puts butts in seats, it expands the game. None of that has anything to do with basketball, by the way. I'm just telling you the marketing impact of, of Steph Curry. When Steph Curry is on, it's inferno. So when CP is on, you definitely take notice because CP is like an 18, 19 point guy for his career. And, you know, for pretty much his, his season average, I think is... It's 14 right now. So he's a little down, but his career average like an 18, 19 point guy. So when he gets his 30, it feels like 50 because you're like, oh, he's he's making it a point to go get the buckets tonight, right? Mm -hmm. Well, with Steph, when he goes inferno, man, it could be a 60 point night. It could be a 50 point night. And he does it with such ease that you know at any given point, Steph Curry can win a game for you. Not in the form of game winners. Not because we just saw he probably had his first game winner a couple of days ago. But in terms of him just dominating a game, and he only dominates it offensively, but that's really the only thing the NBA wants right now. Until mm -hmm. it becomes a situation where the domination defensively changes a game in a major way, like Draymond wants it to change it, like Dennis Rodman used to be able to change it, right? Like Akeem Olajuwon used to be able to change it. Until that happens, CP3 is never going to get that, that respect that he deserves because I agree, in the grand scheme of things, these two gentlemen aren't that much, you know, far apart in age. CP's 36, Steph is 33. So we're not talking about like a generational gap of, of, of what Wales is saying and somebody being historically better. This is a real argument that should be had. These two are contemporaries. Chris Paul's name should be mentioned with Steph Curry, and it shouldn't be a shock to anybody because – what CP has proven that he's an all-time great. And I'll tell you why. America, what you think about Isaiah Thomas? Brother, what you think about Isaiah Thomas? That's one of the greatest point guards to ever play the game. Well, CP3 and Isaiah Thomas have similar numbers. Isaiah has the championships, no doubt. So that, so, so that technically puts him above in people's eyes because he's got that ring and that hardware. But he didn't do it by himself. So if we're just talking about the man, the individual, the ball player. CP3 is just as accomplished as Isaiah Thomas. And before Steph Curry came along, many people said that Isaiah Thomas was the best point guard of all time. Maybe Magic Johnson, right? So if you're talking Isaiah Thomas and Magic Johnson and Steph Curry, 
then you shouldn't have a problem putting CP3 in that category. Only thing he's lacking that those gentlemen have are championships and MVPs. We're talking about Magic and Steph. But when it comes to just on-court domination for a decade, almost two, nobody's done it better than, than, than CP3, man. Steph Curry has done it at an electric level that will forever change the game. No doubt about it. But Chris Paul has done some damage and, and reminded you how the game should be played. And when it's played right, it's a work of art. It's a work of art, man. CP3 is a bulldog. And, and ask Steph Curry about him. Steph Curry will tell you, this man is tough. And he don't want to see him on the nights that he has, so he just has to see him. But at the end of the day, he knows that's his adversary and a, and a, and a worthy adversary at that. Now, in America, I know what you're going to give me. The time that uh, <clears throat> Steph Rock CP on the baseline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I made him follow stuff like that. Okay. And I don't dislike Steph's game. Absolutely. Absolutely. Offensively. I love his game. Offensively. Yeah, 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 Defensively, yeah. I don't understand why if, if CP3 can be a, a nine-time all-defensive team guy, I, I – I can't understand for the life of me why Steph can't. Yeah. That doesn't make sense to me. Mm -hmm. Okay. I've said it on here before. As the great Hubert Brown once said, if you can get a bucket, you should be able to stop a book. The same uh, skill set that goes into the same uh, uh, quickness, uh, lateral quickness, all that kind of stuff, you still should be able to translate that to defense. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I know y'all don't hit us with that, but don't act like when them boys match up that it's not a problem. Also, Chris will guard still. No question. Steph ain't finna guard CP3. No way. He has yeah. to sometimes, just just be, especially now that he plays with the Suns. He has to. Um, they, but they're gonna call for that switch. But primary defense, Steve Kerr gonna send Steph somewhere else. Gonna have on, on, uh, whoever sitting over there in that corner, yeah. that's who Steph gonna hold. Okay. Uh, the other thing was you mentioned. Zeke, okay, yeah. <clears throat> and I know my whole time coming up, folks gonna put Magic Johnson one. Magic just six nine, unstoppable. That just that just, get, get that's freakish. Uh, and then they'll put Zeke, okay. Uh, but like you said, these resumes they get deeper than y'all think. CP three. Remember, I told y'all all stars popularity. I don't get into all that. Yeah, yeah. All NBA is where it's at. Come on now. That man is a 10 time all NBA guy. Zeke is only five. Hmm. Five time all NBA. Okay. Zeke led the league in assists once. And, you know, of course, you're in the league with Magic and John Stockton at <laughs> yeah, the time. Yeah. No so that's doubt. tough. Yeah, that's tough. CP3 is the magic and John Stockton of the assist game of his time, though. Of his generation, man. They call him the point god for a reason. Best pure point guard of his generation. He's been doing it for the longest. And, and another reason why I thought to do this segment is, if I'm not mistaken, well, he's 37, ain't he? Yeah, he's, th he's 36. 36. 36? 36? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't see people being wowed I know. by his ability to do what he's doing right now at, at his age the same way that the Bron stands do with okay when, when Bron was 36 yeah we had we had the homie uh uh the brother we like his work supreme dreams i got some on him later on yeah. uh he put out i'm 36 uh -huh. i'm 36 i'm not Thanos. yeah CP3 36. But you know what it is, though? With LeBron's 36, it comes with the 28 points. And people just automatically associate the points with point. greatness. It's the points. And, and my argument back to that, and, and, and here's how I look at it. My, my argument back to that is, dude, everybody can get a bucket in, in today's NBA. It's really not hard. Like, for real. It's harder to play defense in today's NBA, although physically it should be easier to play defense because you're doing it without the ball. But – in today's game, it's harder to play defense than it is to score a bucket. So they look at CP3 and say, well, he should actually be scoring more. No, CP3 goes to a team, and he, with his basketball IQ, determines what that team needs to win. 
and get the got, best out of his young boy. Devin he got Booker. a cold blooded score in Devin Booker. Why would he need to go and score 26 when that's that man's primary role? You know what I'm saying? And, and I ain't gonna, gonna care. He probably can't go get 26 at his age. Right. Of course. Because he's only six feet tall. Of course. Bron's 6'9, 287 pounds. So he can go. He should. He could probably average 25 until he decided to he, leave. He should. Game. He should. Okay. But this man, I marvel at the fact that at 36, this man can still weave around, snake around these picks, and get to that right hand and still get that mid range jumper off it's over incredible. guys when he needs to and still get all these other guys involved without turning the ball over. Because all this man. slander on Russell Westbrook about turnovers, which I'm going to get into something with that. You, you don't, you're not giving James Harden that slander. You're not giving some of these other guys that slander yeah. that turn this ball over left and right. But CP3 ain't one of them that turned the ball over. And he's averaging 10 assists while playing great defense, while being the leader of his team. No doubt. Okay. They should have beat the Warriors yeah. that year. Because everybody talked about that Warriors team was unbeatable. Is it? They almost went home had it not been for CP3's hamstring. CP3's. Rockets played them tougher than LeBron James and Kyrie Irving's Cavs. No Kyrie doubt. Irving, LeBron James, Kevin Love could only go five games with them boys. Okay, them boys almost put them out. Yeah, CP3 and he tried to give it a go, just couldn't. Again, that that's the measure of that man. Um, listen, when we did our rankings last year, Steph Curry was in my top five, so I'm not gonna even play like no I'm, doubt, I'm, no doubt, I'm, no I'm, doubt. I'm, I'm sleeping on Steph Curry. Um, when we talked about has Steph Curry, you know, surpassed Magic Johnson, I said, look, if, if somebody has that argument, I'm okay with that. The dude is an all-time great. What we're talking about is putting Chris Paul in that conversation to say over the long run of their careers, who has been the guy that's been consistent? That's I'm been saying, consistent. Yeah, I'm saying historically he better America. That's why I am with it. That He's is. convinced me this year in terms of he still – doing it still the leader still got the assist game stupid if we did like you know how 2k does points responsible for yeah 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 if you add that up i would love to see what his points responsible for are. you know what i'm saying i could easily probably just you know time his assist by two or whatever but some of them are trade balls yeah. you know what i'm saying i know them them geeks out there they probably got the stat out there somewhere <laughs> yeah, i would love to see yeah, how that how how does that compare to steph's numbers you know what i'm saying i yeah. bet it compares favorably but america that's what i got i know uh some of y'all gonna, gonna uh, light into this take i'm all right with that uh, especially my young boy uh, uh robert anderson who is the uh biggest steph curry stand that i've ever seen <laughs> in my life okay in my life but but if you're gonna come with something you better come with some real you understand because i meant what i said cp3 is historically better than wardell stephen curry Put it on some. My kids wanted me to tell y'all to make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me across all social media platforms. Like the videos and share them. Did I forget anything? And turn on the post notifications. Y'all heard them. And also, visit Statement Tees, LLC.com and shop with us. That's Statement Tees. Every t-shirt you wear makes a statement.